the sky, the lightning, the sun, the shadows from which you can see, this is all that was the default in the project. And now we select and remove it. Sky sphere, skylight, sphere reflection capture are also removed. We still have a couple of objects left. First, direct light, which is used as the sun, and atmospherical fog, which was displayed as the sky. It was removed. And now the light source has also been removed. That's it. Now it takes a little while for us to have the global lightning completely turned off and everything updated. Now it's completely dark, we don't have any light sources. Go to the upper left corner and click on create. A list will pop up where we have to choose light and create a directional light. It will be the sun. Press G to see the controllers. Radiating the sun, you can change its position. The next step is to create an ambient light. First of all, we have to define the position of the shadows we want to create. It can be changed afterwards without any problem. For skylight, we will use an HDRI. You can use any HDRI or on this side with three HDRIs. They recently moved to hdriheaven.com, I suggest. Take your pick. In this case, I want to overcast sky, so there is no sun influence. Just feel light, which will give us a soft light shadow. Turn low. EXR does not suit us, so we need to pick up another HDRI. For example, this one. Overcast is great. 8K, for example, download, specify allocation and save. Open Content Drawer, fix it by clicking on Dock in Layout so that Content Drawer doesn't hide because it automatically hides. Open the position where we download the HDRI and just drag and drop it into the Content Drawer. Make sure Skylight is selected and the source type is SLS, a specified cube map. We drag and drop the HDRI to non-cube map selection. Let's move the drawer to the left to see more space. Increase in the Skylight value and see that the field light is getting lighter and brighter. The shadows are getting lighter. That's a lot. I'll click on the arrow on the right to bring it back to the default. The default was one. We put 2. You see, it doesn't update. It takes some time for Lumen to compute. In the effect world, uncheck the box and Skylight stopped working at all. This way it is faster to update. At the bottom, there is also capture, but you can, in principle, to reset the old values. You have to wait a little bit. Here is one, more or less updated. Let's put a 5. Also, we have to wait a little bit. The default for Skylight is Mobility Stationary. If you put Static, you can see how the nature of the reflection changes. I put Static and Rise in the value of 20. The reflections on the water are still present, but they changed. But the global lighting is not updated. This is also because there are so many trees now. We press Skylight, Recapture at the bottom, this also doesn't help one way or another. But if we go further up, for example 50, something changes. But the global lighting doesn't get brighter. And if we go higher, for example 1000, we see how much brighter it gets. 100 is also a value that we should probably leave, it's probably big too. I'm trying to go back to default. The world effect is to turn the effect on and off, then recapture pressed. In short, we have to wait and have patience. This is because there are a lot of trees. I put intensity scale on 20 for now, once again on the effect world on and off checkbox, once again recapture, in general it is getting brighter. We'll set it to 100 and wait till it gets brighter too. Of course, it's not Lumen, it's faster with renders, but it takes time anyway. We have lightened shadows, they are getting lighter, but not all the hills are getting lighter. If we change source cube map angle, 
It also changed the nature of our light and probably also helps in updating lumen. Even though we have an overcast Blu-ray HDRI, it still have different areas of intensity. In the world outliner select directional light. We now need to associate the sky which we will create with the position of the angle of the sun. To do this, in direct light type atmosphere in the search box and check atmosphere sunlight. And you can also put cast shadow on the clouds. Cast shadow on atmosphere and cast cloud shadows. Let's create the sky. For this, tap create visual effects and sky atmosphere. Now, by rotating the sun, the sky will change. Let's put the local rotation and keep rotating. The sharper the angle of the sun to the horizon, the darker the sky becomes. But at the same time, the ambient light remains the same. Let's select skylight and correct the situation. Switch to light and completely turn off the world effect. Again, we will have to wait for the update. It all depends on the power of your card and how many objects in the project you will display. In general, the most interesting and spectacular position of the sun it is sunset or down, when we have long shadows and when we add god rise. It will be even more beautiful. We will make the effect of fog. In general, the main thing is that by rotating the sun we can make interesting effects. Here, for example, night lighting with a nice purple gradient. Such an artistic process. You have to spend a lot of time on it. Find an interesting position of the sun that firstly would give atmosphere and secondly would empathize all the objects, make them three-dimensional. Try to have the sun itself shine not from the front, but from the sides. Thus you empathize the volume of trees and objects themselves. It is desirable, but this is not always possible. To put the sun behind objects, behind the trees, for example, so that if there is a fog. There were rays of volume light, which I am now trying to do. A disk of light is very small. We will increase it by increasing the source angle to about 5. But it is a lot. Let's 1 or 2. 2 will be fine. Even 1.5. 1.5 will be it. I will make the rotation global and continue to refine the position of the sun, so that the shadows were visible and the disk of the sun itself is displayed behind the trees. Let's continue to rotate. And the fact that now in the reflection the disk of the sun is visible, we will turn it off later. Now is just an indication of the sun position. Also on top of that, we have the task to make it bright enough to keep a nice gradient of the sky. But after looking at a few references, I realized that if we expose the camera on the total volume, eye on the houses and trees, then we will, in any case, the sky will be lit. That is physically correct if the sky will be white. Unfortunately, in this case we will lose a nice gradient, but it will look more correct. For example, I set it to 1000. That's roughly how it will look in reality. The sky lit up and dusk or down. But the volumes start to come out. But, of course, we will need to put an additional light source in the form of skylight. Or even an additional sun. Let's make the ambient light first. Choose skylight, turn it on, check the volt effects and intensity scale will start from 1. As the lumen is updated, we will see a nice silhouette of the architecture of the houses, increased to 2, 3, 4, until the dark areas of the project are sufficiently bright in it. These values will be different for each project. Always use a reference. In the meantime, we move on to the next lesson.